So hello YouTube, you good? Back again. Oh, I should take these inside before they get rusty. But look, they're all making of the remains of... Well, if you click on the top right of the screen, you'll see I had to kind of... I butchered a ferret. A wild one, not a pet, a wild one. But I think it might have been a pet because it was very docile and very chilled. And I did it on this tree. But little tip if you are going to skin an animal, make sure if you're going to hang it from the tree, make sure it's not bendy. Because this was like, I was pulling it and I was like, over there, it's like a cartoon. I felt like it was going to go whoosh on my face. But back in the garden again. But I didn't talk about the greenhouse. And I didn't notice these last time. Look at these things. So obviously it's come, ew, what was that? I think it's going to be like a worm casting. It felt like a poo. They don't have pets. But this willow here has been hacked back. I was thinking I didn't know where it'd gone. It's gone over here. And look at all these roots. Cute little roots. These are the next, the next generation of trees that are going to spread and do the, do the deed and keep the wind down. Really nice to see. And strawberries and wheelbarrows and pots. Love it. So let's go in here. Let's go in here. So we brought a lot of kind of house plants with us and we didn't know where to put them. But sadly, the missus, because I was away at the time, she threw this away. I'm still quite irritated because my grandmother gave me this. My grandmother's got dementia right now. And she used to love her plants and keep them. And the missus didn't like spider. No, she didn't really want to start afresh with the spider plants. And like, if you were to cut them back, they do look ugly and then they kind of get good. Oh, the amaryllis is flowering. But yeah, so... She put this in there and I came came back from a holiday and found it in there. I was just like, what on earth is this? Look at that chair. Look at that. That's like, should I sit in it? Go on then, I'm going to sit in it. That is weird. It, like the thing pokes your, 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 your bag if you're a man. I don't know what, if, well, it's quite comfortable actually. Not going to lie. But anyways, what I was saying, um, the, <laughs> so yes, this, um, uh, spider plant so I'm going to kind of salvage it and I'm trying to find the time it's seaweed time right now so I should have been cutting today but I woke up kind of late oh they got um I'm getting distracted so yeah it, it would have been a pain in the uh, pain in the bum just to kind of just to coordinate it's been rushing and I wouldn't want to I haven't cut for a long time so I don't want to be rushing I want to take my time and get like a nice decent cut I don't want to miss out on anything Anyway, it's just going side. And also, I noticed then they got this. Let me go over there. Let me just look like a little pervert. Look, voyeurism. Look, if you look through here, look, they've got a dead wood feature just over there. Beautiful, right next to their studio. Great thing. Rec what is that? I thought someone was coming up with my head knocking the door. But yeah, recommend a dead wood feature, guys. If you want to see a link, click the top right. So let's get this divulge, let's get inside. And look, it's lovely to look, it's a lovely little microclimate here. Like all the leucanthemums I've seen up here. I'd just gone to sleep. But obviously, it's getting extra warmth. That south is slap bang that way. And it's about midday. Is it midday? Yeah, it's around midday right now. I always seem to do vlogs around midday. And look, beautiful, lovely plant. Really, really nice. But I'm going to salvage this. And I need to speak to the client about, not client, the, the homeowner about this plant. Still don't know what it is. But yeah, I'm going to salvage that um, spider plant. So let's go in. Let's get inside. Oh, the door's a bit stiff. So, dead sweet pea. So it's not their time to shine right now. But the missus, that's the thing. She, she's funny with plants. It's quite, it's quite irritating. She just like, if she doesn't like a plant, she'll just keep moaning about, I don't like that, I don't like that. And then when I'm gone, she'll be like, like just stab it or do something to it. Like this prayer plant here was happy, was looking good, but she wanted to start afresh. So what she's done is cut everything back. So it just looks like, looks terrible right now. Soil's a bit moist still. I haven't been in here for a while. But just like, and hack this off, like, and then had that inside the wheelbarrow as well. So... I don't know what type because I'm, I'm more on the outdoorsy plants than it is indoors. I just thought I'd just show you this greenhouse space because I didn't show it last time. But it's a lovely space. Like, it's, it's got a thermometer in here. We see the difference in temperature. But it's definitely... Oh, there it is over there. Let's see if you guys can see it. So you're looking at my face right now. You know, you know there's, there's like those videos of the dads like filming their, their daughter like on the slide or something like and on holiday. Like, one second, let me just turn you, <laughs> turn you around. It is... 13.8 C, so just say 14 degrees C, which is kind of toasty. Obviously, it's not the type of temperature you want in your house, but yeah, it's, it's warm enough. So we've got all these plants looking around here. This supposed to be my gym space as well, but I need to utilize this space properly. I've yet to do that. I've done no gymming since moving to this house. But let me just, I'm not going to talk to all, tell you all the plants, but she's got a, like a nice array of geraniums here and they need to be deadheaded right now. This ground is still moist. It's just getting cold now, but you keep deadheading flowering plants, They'll keep producing more flowers so that's you can see up there this geranium haven't really touched this one but it's still putting out some flowers here lovely space and if with these geraniums like in some places they can last outside especially like cut cut close to the house but 
especially out here, there's no way on earth they'd be surprised. Maybe in Ben Beckett or Balavanic, it's very kind of terraced and it's kind of quite kind of, it's almost like a little microclimate, like a little town. But here, and not Maddie as well, but here, no way. But look at that. That looks fake, doesn't it? It looks like I've like enhanced it. I've done nothing. That is such a beautiful geranium. Pel Pelagonium is the correct term, but we call them geraniums. Just make it like, that's what we do. And these are my trays. I need to sort out. Is that, is that a pest? No, it's just old soil. I don't like to kind of bring pest about, but this is my old bike. I used to commute with this. Also, if anyone here watches, let me just put this probably like the bike and me at the same time. But I used to cycle a lot. I used to cycle from Croydon, that's that South Norwood Bungalow Road, if you're watching this, all the way down, all the way to um, over Wandsworth Bridge and to <laughs> Wandsworth Bridge, all the way down to Put is it East Putney. You're not East Putney. What's that road called? What's that Put that tube station? Anyway, it's the Putney Bridge, pretty much. So I used to be there back and forth. Like I used, to, I miss it. I used to love cycling. I used to love cycling. Cycling was like, I used to rather do that than eat. Put it that way. So. Sad I don't cycle as much anymore, but I'm going to try and get back on it because it's like, it's just one of those great pastimes, man. Like, but just every, I, I know because of my commute, that's why I did it. Whereas now, like, I've always got something to do. So I, that's why I need my, my car, my car most of the time. But I feel like once I get everything established and settled at the house, I should just make more time for this and just be like, let's just, just go for a bike ride, isn't it? But I'm on a lovely road here. We've got like a nice, like, group chat so we can always get together and say, like, I'm going for a cycle. We want to join me. Just like dick around and get my legs kind of warmed up again because. They'll be feeling it, I tell you that. So, let's go around and talk about these plants here. This, I don't even know what it is. It looks like a type of rhona or calmia or like, it's not an arbutus. It kind of looks like it, but it's surviving. It's doing, being, looking happy. And I don't think these old couple, they're not old, they're not a couple, they're a couple of sisters, but they gave me this plant. And it was tall, it was huge. I brought it from London. From Tooting, funny, I have Tooting Beck. And I thought it was dead, so we just left it. And look at it. Because <laughs> this is the thing about it, it's a little warning, guys. If you want to buy a plant, this is plastic plot. I don't really like this pot. Give me this pot any day. These types, preferably these ones, because they just blend in their black. They just don't take over. They don't become the focal point of when you've got plants in your house. If you've got like black pots, you just kind of just merge in and you just see the green pretty much. That's like my recommendations. But that's why the more plants, the merrier. Put it that way. Just need a full a plant here, just in the full front. But this pot be very difficult to get out and Susie's dad tried to get this out and he pet he hacked it did all sorts just to try and get this bugger out but couldn't but look it's existing it's alive it's thriving it's doing its thing trying to pop through which is lovely it's a cord line it's a cabbage patch cabbage patch tree they brought over here in maybe like maybe the 60s 70s and they're doing good and I've tried to grow them many times my cat destroyed one I did destroy them so I thought you know I saw it I've seen them up here as well looking pretty I've seen them all over the place up in Newish, so I'm going to try and find a nice sheltered, sheltered space to put this away from the rabbits and get it tall, and then it'd be able to look and sit pretty. So that's my cord line. And I've got my some of my Tradescanti here. I'm going to make a lot of cuttings out of that, especially when we move. We don't need to do it now because we're not sure where these spaces, where they're going to go. So instead of making babies now and then finding some space, when we get there, we can figure out where the spaces are. And I put these because in the house, we're going to have like a balcony. There's like a big bit. See if I can put a video here. We're just going to look down. And there's gonna be like a like a trosh trosh a tr <laughs> get it out let's get it out there's gonna be a pot like an in built-in ledge with a big pot all the way around with like plants so they can cascade philodendrons um tradescantias all these little di di different tradescantias and you see i'm saying tradescantia i'm not saying wandering dew i don't know where they get these funky names for plants like it just seems a bit there's like tainted and oh hey one second Okay, that is warm enough. I don't think it likes it in here. Maybe there's not enough airflow. But this is my my fig, uh, uh, variegated fig. And stupid enough, I put it in the back on the trailer when I was driving. And the reason why it looked obliterated like that is because the wind burnt, the wind was just blowing everything. It was like, shh, shh, shh. and the amount of leaves were just going. Shh, shh, shh. So I feel like we should try and bring this one inside. As much as the light isn't great inside, I feel like this would be a lot better inside. So I might bring that in. But we've got some. Um, Cuttings of, what's this? Christmas cactus. We've got my umbrella plant. This, I have no clue what it is. I just chubbed it in there because I had some spare and put it in. But this, this did have um, green fly. Oh, we've got a moth. What type of moth is that? Is it dead? Oh, you're dead. Bye. But you had some green fly on here. So we cut it back and it's come back. I had green fly, cut it back again. So it's come back. No green fly. So it's obviously happier. But a sign of a plant with kind of aphids or kind of pest problem means that the soil isn't great and the plant is sick. So pests tend to only just go for plants that are sick. So just be warned of that. 
And I've got my snake plant here. I do love a snake plant. Look how bone dry that is. It's just a type of saw that we used. It's almost like dirt almost. There's almost like no goodness in that, but it's thriving. And there's what's that, an elephant in there. What you find, you know you've got kids when you find stuff like this. That looks the part, look at that. Like in the jungle. And look, it's putting out though. Very good oxygenate of this plant. Very, very good. And does releases most oxygen at night time, apparently. I've, I've seen it, I've seen it on a TED talk somewhere. What's that? A bit of paint. I've seen it on a TED talk where this is one of the plants that they use to kind of purify the air. They have this plant in space too. So this is a lovely cheese plant. It gets massive. I'm quite sad. This one was given to me. My other one that I own is down there. You can see it's like lacking nutrients and stuff. Hence why it's not like deep, rich green, which is like this umbrella. Technically, it should look like that umbrella plant there. But yeah, it used to be massive. Then I had to cut it back and then I've cut it back again. Then you get to be in that cold house and... I find when the cheese plants, they just want to just take over the world, man. Like this plant like, is just hanging on for dear life. But what I could do with this is just cut this. We could do this another day. I'm making back another vlog actually with cuttings with Cedar. I know he wants to come in here and help me. This is his doing. The builders like use this nail gun thing. So he comes back and wants to make octopuses and stuff. So what I'll do is just kind of cut this off and then just kind of put it in the soil, put some water. I'm actually putting it in soil straight off. I'm not really one to kind of wait around. I put that one in water because, I mean, these, these guys are quite iffy. And they put, oh, there's another one. See, look, for example, oh, I put one of these. So I get distracted by everything, but I've had this. I, it took me ages, ages. And the, the trick is to get a um, snake plant to kind of propagate is warmth. So warmth, warmth. I've known someone had one on a heat propagator. We had that position over the fireplace. So obviously the heat coming up is warming the water up and it was feeling, oh, ideal conditions started to set root. So now we're gonna have more of them. So I'm gonna start doing that in the future. And in fact, then what I can do as well is dig this up and then split it, get this baby out. Split them, it's like what? One, two. Yeah, we cut it off here. You can see where we cut it. Cause they were kind of like, they kept falling down. So if you have any like roots that are plant or leaves that are falling down, just cut them and then just gonna kind of sort them out. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six little segments in there. So. We could make six more plants. Well, yeah, I could make like five more plants. I leave one in here, like in the middle, stationary, and then just kind of get the other ones and put pots and have them in different places. Because not sure if I said this before, but my house, the new house, I want it to be filled with plants, like just loads and loads of plants. Like, so you come in, you're just like hit with this kind of warmth, greenness, and it's just like feels fresh oxygenated feeling good like i want the inside to be like the outside if you know what i mean oh no so we got given quite a few plants some plants like it in here i'm noticing but some are just a bit like what the where the hell am i like this rubber plant was a bit rubbish beforehand did have an aphid problem but i think hopefully this the weather will kind of sort it out i don't remember get given this i don't think this is out this amaryllis thing is all our plants are around here but i don't remember getting given this that's like I said, there are all these things I'm new to. And I made a little vlog the other day at Susie's mum's house and there was like a type of grass, like a, not a papaya. Maybe I'm right. Maybe that's the name. But this, this is a smaller version, which I kind of prefer. And this has been dyed like three times, but we've kind of managed to bring it back. Cats like to eat it because it's a type of grass. So you'll not notice it. All these little kind of cuts. These aren't us. This isn't us. This is Coco's doing because she doesn't really go out that much. So she tends to like nibble on all the stuff. So... And a bit of dried up nasturtium. Anyways, guys, this is the, <laughs> this is the greenhouse. I know I could talk and waffle on all day about plants. I just get carried out. Oh, there's my charger. This is my charger. Sad time. Also, look, the balaclava. Remember, I used to walk around with the balaclava. I have a new one now, so don't worry. But I put this in the wash by accident. And we put warm, like put cotton and all stuff like that in the wash. It shrinks. So I could give that to maybe like a future dog or something. Like... It smells lovely though, I can tell you that, but I've been looking for a charger because my my battery room, basically everything's up in the air right now. Don't know how to explain this, but got my gym stuff. I will get fit again. Also, look, I've got a spin bike. Love a little spin bike. Look at that. Oh, keep fit. Get some music in here. The ground's a bit all over the place, but we can get some tunes thumping. Don't know what that is, but it looks different. I quite like it. Not, I think you can get that in like a, kind of like a dark kind of, almost like brownish colour, can't you? Bit of cyclamen flying over there, so cute little bunting. But this is the greenhouse, and it's mad to think they got away with like a perspex greenhouse in the middle of the Outer Hebrides. Because if you look at click the link at the top right, you'll see that they've got a lovely green space, and you can see it here. Look, look at that prevailing winds come from over here, but they're protected by the house. 
and like you get still get the solar gains from the south because it's like midday right now it's just going over the top but it's quite low right now because it is winter time and it will go around but it's protected by the north side as well so this is like a nice little nice like tucked away and the only bit of exposure is well it's still got that building there to protect it too so you might get a bit of catabatic coming down off here into this section but nothing to cry about maybe that's why there's a crack there could be i don't know but yeah so i get Ava looking sitting pretty such a lovely day today guys oh lovely day today good day to be alive so that's enough about me rubbing rap like waffling about plants so if you're new here consider subscribing this is a kind of unusual vlog this is vlogmas like i've said and i'm just waffling on and talking about everything i do pretty much in the day on a day-to-day -day basis which is kind of fun for me because it kind of it just it heightens my skill gets but it makes me better at youtube get at it better better at editing and just better at just kind of blabbing and talking to you guys and talking about the things that i love and which i know you like too <laughs> so yes Peace and hugs from me. And remember, it's not just my gen, it's yours too. And I'll see you here tomorrow. I hope I see you here tomorrow.